Hello everyone. This is a short tutorial because I've uh, had some people asking me how to set up Inbox AI um, uh, from the start uh, to work with Tana. Now I set up Inbox AI like a clean installation. And when you first start Inbox AI, you will see in the top right corner of your screen, this little paper plane icon. If you don't see it, you might have something hiding these icons. So ensure that you maybe close all other applications until you actually see this one. If you click it, there we have a couple of options, but before we can use it, we actually have to set it up. And we do this by clicking on settings. So it starts um, preloaded with a couple of examples. And as you can see here, uh, we're processing email using the process email command. We're processing screenshots with the extract tasks and add from Apple reminders. And we're processing audio with this command. Now, the first thing to get up and running is actually to install the Apple mail extension. And you do this by opening Apple Mail, going to your settings in the top right, going to extensions and enabling the Inbox AI extension. I also recommend uh, after you do this to uh, restart Apple Mail once because sometimes it doesn't work right away if you just uh, click it in. We'll get to the mail in a bit. But first, let's start uh, continue setting it up. So. To install it into Tana, uh, let's start with an easy one, and that's by taking a screenshot. So first, we're going to select the Tana Extract Tasks and Add. And then we're going to go to Actions, and we're going to set it up. So we're going to open this one, Tana, and we're going to open the Create Task API, and there we see some information that you need to fill out. When we go to, uh, to Tana, we go to API Tokens, we're going to go to Create, we're going to copy it, which it's already done, and we're going to paste that into here. Now, the next part is where do we want these to land? So I'll just keep this blank because it's the inbox and it's the standard 10. I also want tasks to have the right super tag. So in order to do that, I just tag something as a to-do. I'll go to configure task. I'll click here, command K, and I'm going to do copy link. And when you copy the link, here, the last part is actually the super tag ID. Now, for now, we're going to um, leave it at that. But if you want, an email can also give you a source field. Um, I actually don't know if I set this up here. Well, let's just do it. If we go here, we're going to add source. Let's see, a new one. Yeah, and we're going to do again, copy link. And we're going to enter the field ID here for this one too. And now we are all set up. Okay, I'm gonna remove this one again because this is not what we want. So now this one should work, but before we can get started, we also need an API key for OpenAI. Now, in order to get that up and running, I'm gonna need to copy and paste that one in, um, but I did that already. So go to the, Apple, uh, to the OpenAI website, get your API key here, and make also sure that either to leave the organization ID blank or to not put it in at all. And then again, the default model, uh, I would recommend keeping it at GPT-40. Uh, and make sure that the spelling is like this because this actually goes into their API and it needs to be specifically good. Um, you can check your API key, which I won't do now by clicking this little icon here and it will show up. And this should be everything to get started. Well, as I said, let's start with the screenshot action. I have a little bit of text set up here and we're going to press the hotkey. Um, if I am correct, yes, I have it set to this rather long one, but you can change it by clicking here and we're going to do the screenshot. You can see the screen getting a little bit darker, drag it and it will actually go and run. And hopefully, yes, there we go. It actually put it in there and you can see that the source is empty because it's not coming from an email. So this worked quite well but sometimes it doesn't work. And in that case, it's cool to go into advanced and enable logging. What happens then is then you get some logs and you get to see exactly what is going wrong, especially since we're gonna be playing with some email later. This might be interesting because uh, sometimes the AI might well, categorize an email as something else than you expected. And it's actually difficult to sort of find out what is actually happening. Let's let dive into that. Let's go. Okay, so first up, the process email command is actually used to process incoming emails. 
So we're going to go and look into that. So in here, we're going to see a couple of things. So first, which API is using it? Which AI is using it? It's the default one. So let's keep it at that. And then we have uh, a prompt, which is this one. And you can customize this to basically do anything you want. But the default one should work for now. Uh, if you look carefully, it says stuff like, hey, anything that is commercial is probably junk. Uh, test flight invitations are relevant and a direct request for someone not automated is probably a task. And then you go into email categories and then click here and you see, hey, these are the categories and the actions that I expect for them to take. Now, the tricky part is, of course, when you send yourself an email, it might not always recognize itself as a task. In order to get this working, um, First, we're going to change this one from extract tasks and acts to Apple reminders. No, we want to push our tasks in Tana. So that is the first step. And next, we're going to try and convince the AI to actually uh, uh, take uh, a task in this case. Um, and we're going to send an email to myself. Now, this one can be going away. We're going to do this and we're going to send an email to myself and say task. Let's try and make it it's very obvious. Um, pick up laundry. Uh, sometimes it's actually, even though it's so obvious, then uh, especially emailing yourself, it, uh, it can be tricky. Could you pick up the laundry for me tomorrow? There we go. And we're going to send it. Now, this will take a little bit of time. But we can follow along in the logs uh, if something is actually happening. This time, it did not. So let's try again. In this case, let's restart mail. Let's restart it again. And let's see maybe if that will fix the issue. Let's do it again. Task, pick up laundry. Pick up the laundry for me, please tomorrow and let's send it again and hopefully this time it will actually pick it up i should have followed my own advice now it takes a little bit of while there we go processing email and it actually got it right in this case it says via mail we can go in here and we actually see this one ah there's a little bit of a problem here that's probably the api uh, you can actually do this and do it uh, convert it to a URL. There we go. And then this one, though it looks really weird, actually opens the email. Uh, there's a bug in the uh, Tana uh, input API that this isn't automatically converted into a URL. I've already uh, announced this with Tana and I hope they will fix it at some time. If you want to do it manually, command K and convert into a, a URL in order to fix it. And then simply clicking here goes straight in there. Now, let's dive a little bit more into it. Here you can see the entire log of what the API actually did. So here you can dive into what's happening. And um, well, you'll just have to believe me, I won't go into everything, but sometimes it will clearly show an error here, for instance, like that. Let's dive into a little bit because here you can see that this is um, uh, a direct request. So that's one. And then when it is actually a task, it will have some options to choose from. In this case, it will choose the categories because I've asked this, categorize this email and use this categories. And then we go into the categories. These are the options. And then if you follow along, you see, hey, it selected a task and it will go to extract tasks and add from Tana. And if you open that one and it's like a Russian doll uh, and there is the actual prompt where you define what happens. So here it says, extract all tasks, and the original input here will be the email for myself, your name, which you can configure in the general settings from the input below and optionally image for the screenshot actions and assume the input is directed at the receiver of the tasks. And then it also asks hey, if you can see where the sources of the tag, task, then add it. Tasks are always in English and never contain any new lines. So this last part is very important for Tana. But of course, if you don't want them in English, you can simply change this. 
again, the AI here is here you're sort of teaching how to deal with these things. And you can get a little bit more comfortable by changing these things like the process email, adding other stuff, how you might want to uh, say, hey, I want to add another category here. And you have to really play with it to make sure you can shape it to your own. Now, and finally, I want to also show you the process audio command, which is the one uh, that has been added most recently. It also has a shortcut, um, in this case, the, uh, the S shortcut, and it leads to the process audio command. Now here you can see a couple of things. One, it has a lot more things you can do with it. So let's keep it very simple and simply go in and see mm, what kind of things we can do. Let's make it a little bit bigger and see, mm -hmm. uh, not this one, there, the create task API Tana. I believe that this one is probably not in there by default. Uh, so if it isn't in there, you should actually go here and select it uh, and remove the rem Apple Reminders one because that's the one that's default in there. So let's add the create task Tana. Where is it? Or extract tasks and Tana. Um, let me see. Uh, there we go. Extract tasks and add to Tana. Or no, this one actually, the create task from the API, sorry. And this one needs to be in there, the create task API. Um, only put APIs in here, else it will be slower. It will still work, but it's a bit slower. So in this case, let's go and check it out. I'll add the, hot, the hotkey. Can you remind me to pick up the laundry tomorrow and put it in Tana? So in this case, it should be listening to my command. And there we go, remind Andre Fuken to pick up the laundry. And as a little bonus thing, actually you can do a lot more with the audio commands, but that's more like not so much on the connection with Tana, but more inbox AI in general. So one of the very cool things, for instance, you can say, um, can you write an email to my mother uh, to pick up flowers tomorrow? And this actually will open up an email screen uh, with your little email that you selected. Now again, diving into the full Inbox AI feature set might be a bit much for now. So this is the basics on how to set it up. If you run into problems, make sure to just join the Slack and ask for support. Um, and there should be a lot of people also answering your questions. That's about it. And thank you for listening.